Today is April 11th. I'm one week away from surgery. Uh, I met with my surgeon, Dr. Rebecca Brooks, at UCSF this week, and uh, everything is on schedule. I'll be going to meet my anesthesiologist this coming Tuesday, and then on Thursday the 17th, um, I'll have surgery. I'll probably be in the hospital for about four days or so, and the key is to get up as soon as possible and start walking, even though everyone's told me you probably won't feel like it, but the sooner you can do that, the sooner you will start healing. So that's gonna be my goal. Um, it turns out, this might seem funny to you, but I'm more worried about recovery than I am about the surgery. I tend to be a slow healer and the chemotherapy has um, made that even slower. So everything that I am learning from people who've gone through this before will be of benefit to me. Um, I'm hoping that the meeting with the anesthesiologist goes smoothly so I can make it to a meeting of uh, some other survivors and there's one other person who's in active treatment right now. Uh, it's a group of women that I was introduced to who meet once a month and um, just for fun. So I'm hoping to join them on Tuesday because I certainly have lots of questions and it's best to get the information straight from someone who's gone through it. Doctors are very good at treating uh, the disease, but they don't know what it feels like. And some of the more unusual things that have turned up for me is, number one, um, well, my taste buds went kaflooey a few weeks ago, so I have very limited palate, which is hard for me because I really do enjoy food. And right now, all I can really discern is texture and temperature. A little bit of um, vinegar, I can taste that. So Niswa olives are on my favorite list right now. I can taste a little bit of sweetness, but by and large, I really can't um, tell you if something's wonderful or not. Hard for my husband, who is a very, very, very good cook. And so he asked me, well, how is that? I said, honey, um, right now, I couldn't tell you. I know that it's it looks good and it feels good, but I can't tell you what it tastes like. Um, this kind of was surprising to me. My uh, hands and feet are very sensitive. They call it neuropathy. But in addition to that, the fingernails on hurt and my toenails hurt. Feels like somebody whacked me with a hammer and that's not just some of the time, it's all the time. So it's very hard to do buttons. Uh, feels weird when I'm, I'm keyboarding on my computer. And of course I haven't been spending a lot of time on my computer because I don't have the stamina and I've had to be running around with lots of medical appointments. Um, I have a fabulous person that I'm working with at, uh, at Anthem Blue Cross, uh, Andrea Crowley, who is my case manager. She's a nurse, and so she's working with me to be sure that um, my questions are being answered and that I understand uh, the best way to utilize my benefits. However, there are still some issues with um, between Covered California, people who are using Anthem Blue Cross. Number one, I can't change my address. I moved in February and in whose ever infinite uh, wisdom, they have made it so that members cannot change their address. It has to come from Covered California. Well, I changed my address two months ago, but the information hasn't gotten over to Anthem Blue Cross. So we're still researching that. Go figure, you would think. I go on the website, there's my profile, I can change some things, but I can't change my address. I think that's ridiculous, and I found other things like that to also be the case. But it is what it is. So, If you are in the city, in San Francisco, while I'm in uh, the hospital, which will be the 17th probably to the 22nd or 23rd, please drop by and see me. And 
I'd also like to see people when I get home, but again, my um, time for visiting will be shortened. I won't have uh, the energy, but I would love to just see people for, you know, 20 minutes or so. Um, I can handle that, but don't be offended when I say I'm done. Same thing with phone calls. Uh, I need to keep them short. My sisters have all been wonderful. I've talked to each one of them and they've all sent me some goodies to get me um, ready and to help me as I get better. Um, my sister Jeanette sent me three fabulous uh, hats for the warm weather. I've been having trouble finding cotton and lightweight hats here in Sonoma because it's uh, typically it's not so hot. We've had 70s and 80s for the last few weeks and it's probably going to stay that way for another at least another week or so. So uh, she lives in San Diego and, and found me some cute things and I appreciate that. Thank you, Jeanette. And uh, other sisters, uh, Joanne and Joy, have uh, given me words of encouragement and I really appreciate that and knowing that they are thinking of me uh, helps a lot. Um, I think I'm going to sign off now because I'm feeling a little bit sad. I am scared, but more about the recovery than the surgery. And I want to get back to having my own time and energy again. And I'm looking forward to that. So thank you all to the people who have supported me, who've come to the fundraisers and Enjoy each day because you don't know what's coming. And be happy, be healthy, be well. This is Judy Baker, your wellness warrior. And I'll see you on the other side.